Hi guys, it's Dave Farmer and welcome back to my series on Reaper. And today we're just going to look at fades. Uh, we'll get into how to mimic the Pro Tools functions of fade from start, crossfade, and fade to end on clips. But first let's just take a look at how to fade with the mouse. So you hover your mouse over the top part of the clip. At least that's the way Reaper is set up by default. You can change your mouse modifiers as we've talked about before in preferences, but this is how you do it normally. You hover your mouse over the top part of the clip edge, and then you can fade in like so, or fade out, same way. Let me undo those. And now let's take a look at the preferences for the fades. Go to Reaper, Preferences, go to under Project, Media Item Defaults. This is where you set up your fade in and out default shape. This menu changes the in and the out all in one setting. It's not independent like it is in Pro Tools for the in and the out. And this is your default shape for crossfading here. Now, let me show you this little checkbox here, which is create automatic fade in and fade out for new items and the length of that fade. So let me turn this on, hit apply, come over here and I'll zoom in and I'll do a split on this clip and you can see what happens. If I zoom in some more, you can see that there's an automatic fade out and fade in for that. So let me undo that, come here and uncheck this box, hit apply, come back out here and split this clip. And now you see that there's no fade in or out. So that's up to you how you want to have that set. So now let's take a look at the auto crossfade preference. It's this little checkbox here, or this little button here. I'm going to turn this on. If I turn it on, it's, it's sort of highlighted gray. And now I'm going to split this clip here and watch what happens. When I drag this onto this clip here, it's going to make a fade automatically. It's hard to see when it's highlighted, but let me unselect it. Now you can see that crossfade was automatically created. If I turn this off and drag this over it, it does not create a fade. It works more or less the same way Pro Tools does with one little change, one little difference. Let me see if I can figure out a better way to demonstrate this. Let me trim the tail of this clip to there and let me get a little blank space here. So now if I drag this clip onto this one here, this transient here under Pro Tools would be overwritten. But when I do it with Reaper, see it's still there. It's still playing. It's like Reaper's playing two different clips at the same time that are on the same track. It's a little strange behavior. I'm still not quite used to how that works, but that's what's happening. So if I, if I drag this on there now, it doesn't go away. But if I keep dragging the clip on top of it, where it covers the trailing edge of it, you can see that that clip now sort of overwrites that. I'm not quite sure why that works that way, but you'll want to keep an eye on this. I usually leave the crossfade function on because I think it's a really cool feature for just joining things and having fades done automatically. All right then, so now let's take a look at how to mimic the Pro Tools shortcuts fade from start and fade to end. Let's go to the actions menu and I will do find shortcut. I have mine set to the same as Pro Tools. I have D set to fade from start. And you see that this is called a single item. It's not even a long string of things cut together. It's just one action called fade items into cursor. Now let's look for the fade to end. I have it set to G just like Pro Tools. Fade items out from cursor. And while we're at it, let's do the crossfade. I have it set to F just like Pro Tools. And it's called crossfade items within time selection. So let me show these in action. So just like Pro Tools, if I want to fade this into the from the head to this cursor location, I click where I want it to fade to. I press D, fades in. If I want it to fade out from here, I do G, fades out. Now let's um, let's split this and turn off the auto cross fades that we just looked at. So now there's no cross fade between these two events. Now I have to do a time selection. Remember we don't select with left click on the clip, we select below it or somewhere else. So now I've got my time selection there. And now I can shift click these two to get them selected. Press F and that crossfade is done. If you want to make adjustments to the fades after they're created, 
hover your mouse over the fade until you see the icon change to be this little fade icon. And you can right click on it and change the fade type. Or you can, if you pull the head out, see the whole thing moves. If you want to adjust the length of the fade, look at the back edge of it. You can adjust it that way. There are mouse modifiers you can click to change this behavior, but this is the way it is by default. Same thing with right clicking on the crossfade, you can change the crossfade that way. But that's how you change the fade after the fact. Right click. Alright, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. See you next time.